hey 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 y'all so if you read by today's title of this video we are going to be doing a digital planner um tutorial so what we're going to be using today is canva and onenote you can use powerpoint but for this particular video i use onenote i prefer onenote so we're going to be doing onenote today so as you can see the first thing you want to do is go to canva you don't need a pro account you can use a free account the only difference is some templates might be available and some templates might not be um the amount of editing that you do in one is going to be limited in the free of course so you want to make sure that whatever you're doing um you want to use the circumference if you don't know what your pixels is for your screen you might want to google it um the pixels for my screen is going to be 1800 by 1080 i think pixels um so you want to go ahead and click on it and then once you click on it um a blank screen is going to pop up you can use this with android you can use this with um windows and the thing that I like about it with the OneNote is that I can use this on my tablet, my laptop, and my phone because OneNote is an app and you can just sync it and it's free. Um, you could go on Etsy and buy a template and download it on to OneNote or Canva and work off it that way. But if you prefer that um, personalization, then you can just go to Canva and create your own. So the first thing you want to do is choose a background. If you guys want me to go into detail about how to design it, um, comment down below and I'll go and do a video of how to design it. So we're going to do something as simple as like a wood background um, just to kind of give it like a little plannery look. Um, some people use textures. Some people don't. Uh, it's up to you. So then we're going to go and we're going to look for elements. So what the elements is going to pretty much be is the background um, or another background, but it's not going to take up the whole background. So you can do photos, you could do templates, you could do elements, whatever you decide to do. Uh, I think for this one, I am going to choose a spiral. I didn't do tabs because the tabs wasn't necessary for me because i use one note and one note if you don't know has its own tabs so i just took the tabs off complete so you want to just drag it a little bit um not too much to cover up the background because you still want your background to show or if you don't want your background to show it's up to you it's your planner you know i'm just showing you how to plan it okay <laughs> but what you want to do is you could do a spiral um notebook spiral background and then if you have i don't know if the free lets you do it but you can do edit image and crop out the background or get rid of the background and that's how you can make that go away that's what i did on this one but if you want to know how to design it and more details on how to design it comment down below and i'll do a how to design a planner tutorial <laughs> but for right now we're just creating it so now you see it does have like a kind of plannery look to it like i said it's yours do what you want to do so now we're going to add a header so for the purpose of this video we're just going to name it digital planning because that's what we're doing we're digital planning right so you can add your name you can add your business name you can add whatever you want and it'd be nice if i you know clicked in it to start typing right <laughs> the bloopers and i'm not editing any of this out okay so we're gonna name it digital planning your fonts everything is custom customizable i'm sorry it's early in the morning everything can be custom um it's totally up to you so now once we finish getting our name in we can move on to the next page so you can either duplicate this page if you like this design or you could create a whole new page and just start over from scratch i think what i did on this one was i duplicated it didn't like it and then i decided to start over um you also this is very important want to name your pages the reason why is because if you decide that you don't need 
all those pages to start over it's easier to know what you name the pages like let's say if you have notes if you run out of notes on your original one note and you need to add more note pages instead of having to go through and figure out because at this point you probably have like 75 maybe 80 pages already instead of going through each one trying to figure out which one is which if you have a title then it's a little bit easier so you can also take a template and drop drop it in there now once you drop the template inside of your digital planner all your stuff goes away so you're gonna have to tweak it to make it come back to that planner look you can delete the backgrounds if you don't like the backgrounds of the template you're using it's totally up to you as you can see i moved it around and then i was just playing with it so that you can see that you can mess it up you can edit it but it also has an undo button so whatever you do you can always undo so that's how it looks and i'm gonna grab the spiral because i want to keep the planner look i didn't do one in the middle because i just wanted like a regular planner like you know i'm not double siding pages like a, a traditional planner so i just wanted a different look um so you just edit that and add that together all that stuff you can add lines if you need to you can take away lines if you don't need them you can take away some of those blocks if you don't need them you can also change the color inside of the template if you don't need it i mean if you don't like the color um it's totally up to you the thing about designing your own custom planner is that it's your planner to design you don't have to worry about anything it's yours your creation your design is what you want for your personal your business your motivation your life whatever you can add quotes in there if you need to you can add pictures in there if you need to you can do all that and as you can see you can delete it and then you can delete the whole page if you need it so we're going to start from scratch i believe with this page and we're going to go in and we're going to look at the different templates um for planning so as you can see it's a bunch of different templates usually i go to either weekly schedule planner daily schedule planner most weeklies are by day um but i have multiple for different like social media planning youtube planning all that other good stuff that you know you don't you don't you you know that you don't plan for so this right here is my learning schedule that's what it says week two but if you have like a to-do list and it's for your business or for personal you can always add the things that you think you have to do or the things that you have to do that for that week if you're one of those planners like meal prep um social media posting all that stuff and you can add that into those because the words that's in there are customizable you can take them out you can rename them you can do whatever you want to do so then we're going to go and we're going to add another page and I'm going to show you a weekly planner. So the weekly planner, monthly planner, um, you could do a daily planner. It's all type of designs within this. This one right here is another one of my favorites for weekly planning. And this is just how I plan out my week. Um, you could do it by time. You could do it by quantity you could do it by anything the the goal of this is to have fun and enjoy planning and not planning make it feel like you know it's it is what it is so now you want to go to download once you have all your stuff you want to go to pdf print and you want to wait for it to download once it downloads right then we're going to go into our OneNote. if you want to save it you can save it you don't have to save it it's up to you so now we're going to go into OneNote. Once you get into OneNote, what I did at the bottom, which you can't see, is I added a page or added a section. You can have as many notebooks as you want to in OneNote and have different ones, but make sure whichever one you choose is connected to whatever other devices you're going to be using. So I'm going to name this section Digital Planning. You can also add pages with this one, like for months if you want to. So I'm just going to put in week one, even though I said eat one we're gonna do week one so once you get here you want to go into insert you want to do file and you want to if you saved it you can go to the save name i usually just go to the downloads and download it from there so that's the one that we did at 901 and we're just gonna go in 
click it hit open and then once the pop-up comes we're gonna hit it as a print out the print out allows you to be able to write on it and edit it so once it says insert and print out it'll, get, it'll take a minute or two you know window ain't the fastest microsoft ain't the fastest sometimes but once it pops up bam okay so now once it pops up as you can see everything that you designed on canva is now on there so what you want to do is you want to go through and you can make it bigger you could um go to draw and i always do this to change the font that i'm writing in on my with my pen and then you could do pencil you could do marker you could do highlighter even with one note itself you can add like little stickies in there so you don't have to necessarily go to canva and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and start writing of course write it was 2 9 22 when i made this video so you want to write in there you can write you can erase and there you have it you have a digital planner that you design with your own hands like oh my gosh who needs to pay for this when you can do what you want to do how you want to do it even though you know paying for it was an option for me because i didn't have no clue i just got overwhelmed and as a beginner it is you can add lines in there of course for this template you can't edit it but you can check it off as you go but yes i love this customization i love how i could just go in and play with it it doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason it doesn't have to match like i said there are people on etsy that does one note planners but you have to really read the description to make sure that it's geared towards one note because it is a lot of um apple planners and once you buy the planner you're not gonna get your money back and then another good thing about one note is if you run out of room you can always use the back of one note to write whatever you have to write on it or you can also insert pages as you go so you don't have to start another section if you need another weekly schedule or like i said side notes or whatever you can always go in and add other attachments as an insert so i hope this video was helpful